hi welcome back to my channel and welcome to a book review video obviously you know that uh, that's probably why you clicked on this video um it has been a while since i did a book review um most recently i've been doing sort of book hauls i've done tags but it's been a while since i did a review but i'm back and today i wanted to share with you my thoughts on lindsay kelk's latest release which is on a night like this now i read it on my Kindle so I don't have a physical copy here to show you um, however I will pop a picture here of the cover so you can see what it looks like. Um, I was approved by NetGalley to read a pre-release of this book it actually came out I think sort of mid-November time and typical me I um, got approved for it downloaded it to my Kindle and then didn't read it until I think it was the end of November beginning of December which by then it was no longer a pre-release, <laughs> but that's fine. If you've been watching my channel for a while, you'll know that Lindsay Kelk is an auto-buy author for me. Um, pretty much anything she brings out, I will buy, or if I'm lucky enough uh, to get a pre-release, I will read it without having to buy it. Um, and this book did not disappoint. It totally reminded me why Lindsay Kelk is sort of that go-to author for feel good easy reading don't want to give away too many spoilers at the start but i loved this book and that's why i wanted to come on today and share with you what i thought of it because it's rare for me to enjoy a book as much as i did this one i've heard this book being described as sort of a modern day cinderella and if i tell you a bit about the story you'll understand why so the story follows Fran who is engaged to her fiance Stu. They've been together about 12 years, I think they met at university, but their relationship has gone a bit stale. They live in Sheffield, they previously lived in London which Fran absolutely loved, but then Stu inherited his grandma's house and so they decided to make the move up north. So Fran is a PA slash assistant but when we meet her in the book she's actually unemployed. It's leading up to Christmas and understandably she's a bit stressed about being out of work. Then she hears about a job that she feels would be absolutely perfect for her but her and Stu have come to an agreement the reasons why they've come to that agreement become apparent as you're reading the book but basically her and her fiance have come to an agreement that she won't take any more jobs that take her away from home. After having an argument with Stu also feeling that she is so perfect for this job she just decides to go for it and take it. She signs an NDA if you don't know that's a non-disclosure agreement and she ends up finding out that she is going to be a PA slash assistant to Juliet who is a really famous recording artist who is currently based on a luxury yacht in the Mediterranean on her way to the Crystal Ball to perform. Now the Crystal Ball is like the event of the year. Everyone wants to be there, there's apparently a no phones allowed policy in the event so nothing's really leaked. Fran's job when she gets to the yacht is to ensure that Juliet Juliet gets to the crystal ball and plays her set. I don't want to give too much away as I always say in all my book reviews no spoilers here um, but I believe this says this on the back of the book so this isn't a spoiler but basically Fran ends up at the crystal ball herself and meets her Prince Charming of course you know a hot guy of course she's going to. Um, I really warmed to Fran in this book she is very funny she's very self-deprecating she's just quite a warm character you're immediately drawn to her i think if you met her in real life she would be that person that you instantly click with if you follow lindsay kelk on um instagram or uh, i'm imagining her other socials as well i only tend to kind of use instagram but if you follow her on instagram you'll see when you read this book there's quite a lot of elements of her own life and a lot of her humour that come through in this book. It is perfect escapism. Um, I felt as though I could picture the scenes so vividly. They were described so well. I, I feel as though this would make a really nice Netflix series. One that people would binge. I mean, it might be quite a short Netflix series, but um, I, I think it would go down really well. I absolutely whizzed through this book in a couple of days I think that for me is fast I'm not someone who will sit and devour a book in one sitting um, but reading it in a couple of days I sort of any opportunity I had to read it 
my kindle was in my hands i absolutely loved it so if you're looking for something that's really light-hearted you're looking for something that will allow you to escape you're looking for an easy read nothing that's kind of too taxing or requires you to concentrate then i definitely urge you to pick up on a night like this by lindsay kelk it will not disappoint and if you can't guess from how much i have absolutely gushed about this book all the way from the beginning to now how long have i been chatting yeah but quite a long time um i absolutely love this book and i am going to rate on a night like this by lindsay kelk five stars that is quite rare for me um i think i've only given four books this year maybe five five stars it takes a lot but this had everything for me and when i was getting a little bit sort of jaded with chiclet this has just renewed my sort of passion for it again thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed that if you've read this book please let me know in the comments below what you thought of it did you love it as much as i did um i do sometimes feel as well that where you are in your life what's going on around you how you're feeling really has an impact on how much you enjoy a book it might be that something i dnf'd earlier in the year when other things were going on i might pick that book up now and I actually feel entirely different about it and really enjoy it whereas a number of months ago i dnf'd it all of that kind of stuff just has a real impact on how you feel about a book which must make it really tough for authors <laughs> hopefully next week i'm really hoping to do a sort of book awards video a wrap up a review i'm not exactly sure how that will look yet but um that's my aim if i get time between christmas and new year so hopefully that will be up before the new year fingers crossed i've done it again haven't i i say thank you and then i go and chat for another three four minutes Thank you so much for watching. Have a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Have a great time and I hope to see you again back here next week where I hope to have a new video for you. Take care.